If we can insert a part into a part, which is what we've just done, so this part was inserted into another part, if we wanted to replace that part, does it work the same as an assembly where we can replace model, okay, or replace part? Uh, well, no, not entirely. So I'm going to go through a few different scenarios of what that might look like when we're talking about the insert part command. So the three scenarios I'm going to go over are first, what if we just wanted to modify that inserted part? Okay, that's going to be easy enough. So we'll do that one first. The second one is going to be, well, what happens if somebody has preemptively modified that part? So um, maybe they, they did a um, a save as, and they made a few modifications and then saved the part. So now we've got two part files and we want to switch between them. And then I'm going to go through a third scenario where somebody has created a completely new part from scratch and we're going to replace it. Okay. So starting with the first one, this is where if we just want to modify this. And what we're going to do uh, is just open the original file. So that's lug in my case. So I'm going to go over and I'm going to open my lug file here. And I am just going to add a random hole right here will do. Uh, and let's just cut that through. We jump back to our part. We're going to see right away we've got the traffic lights here, meaning this needs to be rebuilt. So you can hit either control B or control Q and it will rebuild. And as you can see, that's how easy a modification is if you're just modifying that part that was already inserted, okay? What about scenario two? Scenario two was, well, what happens if they took that original geometry, made a modification and saved it as a new file? Okay, let's, let's look at that. So this time, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna close off everything. So I'm gonna close it all. So, and I'm gonna go and I'm going to open my base. Now, before I actually hit open, so here's my base. Before I hit open, I'm going to check the references. I can check the references. I'm going to double click under name where I've got my lug. And I'm going to choose the updated one. So this file is the exact same file. I just made it a little bit longer. Okay. So if we grab this and say, let's open this one now, it highlights in green to tell us that we have changed it. I'm going to say, okay, and let's open that. And there we go. We've got a longer version that was brought in. Okay. All the connections are the same because again, we used the same geometry. So the same face IDs were used. So SolidWorks had no problem reconnecting those. That leads us to our next one where what happens if this is a totally different part? So those face IDs will be different. Let's see what happens. I'm going to start the same approach as the last one here. So I'm going to go to open. I'm going to choose my base and I'm going to hit references. This time, I'm going to bring in uh, lug new. So I've got a newer one here. We're going to open that. I'll say OK and open. This time, it is being brought in, but you can see we've got a problem here. So it says one or more entities selected for this mate are no longer in the model. Well, of course they aren't because this is a brand new model, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix this up. So I'm going to expand the part file. I can see in here I've got a folder for my solid bodies and I've got my body move copy command. I'm going to edit that one. So I'm going to edit that feature. I've got my, uh, my positions here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to reconnect these. So here's this one saying it needs to be connected to this face back here. Uh, let's actually cancel out of these. So I'm going to delete these and we'll just relink everything. So now let's see here. Let's say this face here to this face here. Right click. Uh, same thing. This face here to this face here. Right click. And this face to that back face and right click. And there we go. We've got a brand new part in. Uh, I had to reconnect the, uh, the references, but now we're all set. So those are kind of uh, a few different approaches we can take depending on the situation um, if we're trying to replace an inserted part. Okay, I hope that helps.